You're hired, girl. You're hired. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Get him up. It's just oh, mine. Primitive yes. Savage coach. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have George back in the booth with us this evening. This is going crazy. So this is going to be Sean Wilkie with a 744 Fargo uh, versus Hunter Smutney at a 666 Fargo. How about having that kind of Fargo in a race to seven? Sean just... Uh... When, when as the wrecking crew, he demolished his last op opponent on this very table. He did. And uh, Seven he's right to one. back here. Uh, and Hunter Smutney, I never saw him before. But if he's here and he's still on the winner's side, he could play some. So. That's right. That's a stylish enough little shot. Fell right in the gap on this two ball. Good shot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I see our numbers dropped off well, real quick while we're in between matches. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe with this stream for PA Pro-Am. We are streaming here out of Bluegrass Billiards in Philadelphia, PA, as well as if you feel inclined to, not required, but please leave a possible tip up in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. You will see dollar sign Frank Mayoletti. Uh, that helps to build the stream and make it better. It's going to go towards a Predator light. Um, that is going to make for better viewing uh, in the coming tournaments. He's got a lovely natural angle to get parallel with the five after he makes his four. He's about, it went a little past parallel. I got him. I got him. Uh, he could play. He could play any kind of shot from here. It's the corner pocket, uh, side pocket. He's got options. Oh, wake and bake. He's getting out good here. He is getting out good. You see this shot? Oh, see the see the center of the ball hitting the outside of that boot. He did just that, and he's going to take the first game down. Sean never concedes any balls. <laughs> it's Not one at game all. To nothing in favor of Mr. Hunter Smutney. Don't know where he's from. Never saw the young man before, but he broke and ran out. So uh, there's. I think this is going to be a good match uh, because you know Sean. When Sean gets in stroke again, he's just coming off of this table, and he just beat his last opponent seven to one, um, and so he's hitting him pretty good. So I think this is going to be a good match. Hopefully, it'll go hill hill. We always like to see the thrillers, but uh, as you see, a break and run from Hunter right out the the break. So he's up one to zero, and now it's going to be Sean's break. Here we go. Uh, Sean was uh, was crushing this break. Uh, it looks like uh, the six ball is headed for the darkness. Ah. The wind ball on the right. So it looks like Toby, thank you so much for the information. It looks like Hunter plays at Markley in Norristown. So thank you, Toby, for that information. George, so Goff says it's good to hear your voice again. He took a lesson with you and took you to lunch about a year and a half ago. William? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we were younger then a little bit. <laughs> so I think it, was in, it was in the winter time, and uh, and, and, and he was, he was, uh, he was, a, he's, a, he's a golf guy just like me. There you go. Until I tore up both my hips, and, 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 and now I got to walk through special things in the airport <laughs> otherwise you set off the detectors don't you george <laughs> yeah i'm i'm robo george <laughs> it's all good many people have all that metal trust me nice shot that was a good cut on the one from wilkie giving him nice position to uh 
Go two rail on the two, come up for the three in the side pocket. He isn't totally happy with that shot. No, I think he fell a little short on that. I think he wanted to come up just a smidge further. His two rail pass comes at the seven, unless he draws his ball. Well, I'll stand corrected. He's dead in line. He is dead in line. Maybe a little straight. I would say we're going to probably be here till 10, about 10, 10 30. Yeah, I think they're, they're trying to get down to the 12. To the 12, was it? Okay. I think so. But I'm, I might be wrong. That's, uh, that's Frank's uh, category. Yeah, I'll check with him and get an answer for you, Toby. Here's a here's 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 a here's a pinch a pinch draw, low right draw, and he might he might get close to straight in on this eight ball. He pulled it pretty good. Yeah, like he's looking to see if it's frozen. Got yeah, good position for the eight. I think I would personally like a little space between the rail and the cue ball. But those rail shots, you know, for me anyway, I'm just, you know, way lower uh, Fargo. I'm, I'm not thrilled with the rail shots. But he drains it and gets position for the nine. So that looks like. Here's that shot again. To yep. the, always to the, uh, to the center of that nine to the outside boot. And there we go. We're at one to one and having fun. It's going to be Hunter's break. Two, that was also a break and run for Sean as well. Two break and runs to get get to get the uh, festivities underway, yeah. or maybe the hostilities. We'll see. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good match. So we'll take a moment while he's racking and take a look at a commercial here. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a look here for the ladies. Come join us. On October 28th, it's going to be the Pennsylvania State Championship 2023 eight ball 1500 added women's event races to five on the winners, four on the losers. It is a double elimination. The finals race will be to seven and it is a staggered entry depending on your Fargo rating. So make sure you get signed up. That's for October 28th here at Bluegrass. Five ball. Right hand corner. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with two live crew weekend break. <laughs> but he didn't catch them as solidly, and his cue ball got down low on him. Yes. And he's uh, not sitting in. He's not squatted in the middle of the table. That's for sure. He might have a shot on the one. That's hard to, from from real sight. It looks like he can make it from, uh... I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to discern, really. It is. Let's see, let's see what he does. It's close. Yeah, he's down on it. I'm not, I don't think he can see it. I don't know. That, that Markley Billions in uh, Norristown is a uh, place I've been a few times with. Oh, he could. That might go in. It might. Look. Oh. He's, that would have been he a heck of a shot. Yes, he does. Because that's good position for the two. Like, that was a beautiful shot. Let's look at that. See if I can get it. Replay on that. Are we going to be checking wind currents here? We're going to see if there's a crosswind blowing over that three ball. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Let me try some massay at the point might be sticking out. Yeah, 
There's good news and bad news. The, the, the two railer, the two railer that he's got is he's measuring it out. Six of one or half a dozen of the other. Right. I believe he's going to play to the short side. Hit underneath of it and kick and stick. Bottom right left. Yep. Mm. It's a good hit. I'll give him that. Yeah. It's good contact. Yeah. It's not, a, not a whole lot to work with. I mean... He's going to have a, a wild cue ball if he cuts the side pocket. Safe would be a good shot behind the 4 6. And he played the mm -hmm. cut. He did. So Hunter cuts the two ball in the side pocket, which is going That's to give a him a shot nice there. roll up for the three. Now, Gonna. All he's got to be able to do is fade the nine ball. Right. Does he get low? Uh, he, he was a little unfortunate. I thought going to lay under to the short side. Yeah. Kind of stuck on the wrong side, but looks like you might have an option or two with this at least. Looks like he's going to kick it off the top rail. Uh, oh. Looks like standing room only, also known as a sellout. Yeah, let's see. Is this going to be an opportunity for Sean to be able to uh, take a lead? These are shots Sean excels at. That was actually a little hard to come in on the short side, but he he's all right. He might play a low right runner. Come around the horn and go between the uh, uh, upper right pocket, lots of low right English, and uh, come around the horn at seven in the side. Let's take a look at that overhead. Or not, he shot that fast. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. And now the seven is just straight in yep. after you mix it, and he's dead in line. Shoot and stop. Correct. Eight and nine, same hole. That was a good call. For the eight and nine being the same hole. Because in the last match, Sean favored the upper right pocket the entire match for the nine ball shots so that's going to put sean up two to one and it's going to be his break 
John Wilkie uh, had, had, has come close several times for uh, uh, the Moscone Cup. He's probably in the top 15 to 20 American players uh, born in the U.S. that uh, are here. I'm not counting all the guys from the United Kingdom and all in Asia that uh, are now living in the United States, but, but but born in the United States, Sean would be in anybody's top 15 to 20 players. Yeah, Sean's Sean's been around a long time and plays good pool. Yeah. It's real good pool. And nine ball stays. Uh, the only the only ball that didn't move there really. Is the nine ball. Any consequence? Yeah. So he makes uh, one on the break, and uh, he's got a clear shot to the one, obviously. Depending on how he plays it, he has a uh, good shot for the two, the three, and as you see, most of the rack is sitting at this end of the table. This looks like a run. It does. It does look like that. Mm. Rattled just a little bit. You could see it on space. He kind of took a breather. Sean's going to try to come out and get pe uh, parallel with the four or draw it backer. That's pretty good. He's going to play his, play his high left, sort of a ball, center left, and go to the side rail just past the side pond. Yeah. See, come up above the five. That's going to leave you a shot down rail for the five and up rail for That's the six, or you could stun it like that. These are, these are just in a line. Let's just draw it off and be perfect on the seven, play the seven and nine in the same. <laughs> A similar last two ball pattern then as the last as the last rack uh now Rachel. I see. Very similar. So yeah, very similar. So he likes making those finals all in the same pocket. So it's gonna put Wilkie up three to one. Another break and run. Yeah. So Hunter's going to get the break, and he's coming to the table. We're here at the, at the, at the Bluegrass Billiard Room in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, playing for the official... Pennsylvania State nine ball title law uh, and Frank Maietti has done a wonderful job in uh, putting this all together. There's a championship uh, belt that's going to be awarded the winner. From Trophy Smack, yes. That, that'll be with the person long after they spent any money they might have uh, realized from this. That is correct. So make sure, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just tuning in, please like, share, and subscribe. We thank you for being here and joining us for the live stream. Also, if you feel so inclined to, in the upper left-hand corner, at uh, dollar sign Frank Mayaletti, there is a tip jar. They are all appreciated, not mandatory. All of those tips that are left to Frank and the, and the uh, PA Pro-Am are to make the stream better and go towards the, uh, the new Predator light that will be uh, for the new uh, events coming down the pipeline. 
So Hunter's going to break. All right. So he this is, drains This is a nice on. little layout right here, uh, Rachel. This is like a, a, a two-railer to the middle of the table. Yep. Everything's duck, duck, goose right there. Fair shot to the one. Two-railer to come up on the two. You have the four or five. So this looks like this is probably this is aiming the, to be a break and run as well. Yeah. This is the key shot because we can get, get the correct angle on the two. See, little low bump on that's the five, and then no, nope. yeah. One rail and that's good. Look at that. I'm from the old school, you know. I, I came up on tables and the, the cloth wasn't so fast. Right. That's a good shot, though. That's perfect. It is. And that's the thing, you know. Over time and the age and things of that nature, equipment has changed, right? Not just the table, not just the cloth, the balls. The cues, like all the equipment, just consistently changes. Sure, it, it was it, it was the same in golf. Yeah. Uh, the balls, the, the clubs, they had to make the golf courses longer, right? And then they had to make them tighter, so tighter fairways, smaller greens. They had to put a challenge up for these. Wow. Uh, He was looking to draw his ball back to that side rail and to straight in Oy. on that six ball that's on the cushion near the eight. And then the seven, eight, nine will test it. Yeah, that's, I think that one's going to hurt just a little bit. Give Sean ball in hand as Sean makes the five, six. Yeah, it is brutal. 100% you are correct. Brutal. And that's going to put Sean up 4-1 to one over Hunter Smutney with Sean to break. What a layout this is. I'm, I'm like seeing playing safe and going, going to those balls on the rail. Like that. Two railer only or one railer? He's a lefty and he's standing on one leg to pick at this ball one rail. A two railer will lay more natural for a lefty. Thank you. 
I like the two wheel. He's going to be on two fouls in a minute. No. no. Oh, yeah, he's going to just, just bank his two ball out of there and stick him on the four. That's a surprise. He'll have to play the four ball from the side cushion across the table on this one. Must go straight in. He might need a touch of high left every every follows the ball. The angle's a little fast and unpredictable for the draw ball, but it's Sean's shot. I don't know. Might be playing the fat pocket to fall close to straight on the eight ball as he can. Whoa, both balls are almost look like they're both frozen on the cushion. He'll just draw it back where he is. It, visualize the center of the eight hitting that point and actually look at that pocket and you'll never miss a ball like this. Never. Just like that, right into the point. Sean Wilkie takes a five to one lead. The break, the break is not so good when you got your cue ball down low and, and you don't really have anything other than a, a possible uh, tough shot or safety on this two ball. That, it's just 
making balls is nice, but he sure had a good shot there. That was a wonderful shot. He needs this game quite badly. Sean's looking at a wild two railer. We go past the side pocket and split the six nine. What a wonderful shot. That, oh my goodness, what a wonderful shot. A two weight might be wired. And kick inside the six ball. Well, a little too much two ball. I sold out a shot. The six ball is the uh, puzzle because the nine's got it covered up pretty good. He's got to reach for this a little bit. That's he's all right. But he's a little straighter. He's gonna to try to pinch the rail and catch the low right draw. Oh, he followed it. Maybe he's good on the short one underneath it. He might have to spend it a little. Wonderful shot. John is bidding to go under the hill.
All right, George, I'm coming back to commentate with you. Yeah. Oh, Wilkie hangs that oh, ball. Sean, Sean just rattled the ball. Hung that ball, kind of made it six to one. Now it's five to two. Number seven, Sean Wilkie up five to one. Next ball on the break. How's Sean shooting? Uh, I got him playing the one on the side. Off. Yeah, you know I'm saying how's he how's he shooting in general? I was walking around uh, doing some tournament stuff. If he, if he pockets that, it's five to two now. And see that. Five two. There you go. Yeah, you're right. It might be a little tight to eight, but I think it, he might be able to squeeze it in. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Ghost, he's actually not the only 700 in this. We have like six or seven 700s in this tournament. Trade, the trade ball clears the eight. It's a pretty good looking chance uh sean's got a little angle i don't know what he's gonna do with this ball he he can put some put some wild put some wild uh stuff on the ball but he can put some wild stuff on the ball looks like lots of high left you know, it's got a hurry I actually think he overshot the ball. I think he came up a little shorter. Not a good one. I think winner of this match goes home. Comes back tomorrow. Let me see. Yep, the winner of this match goes home and comes back tomorrow and plays uh, Sean Mark for 5th, 6th, I believe. Yep, 5th, 6th. Come back tomorrow and play Sean, uh, excuse me, Sean Mark Malay in 761 Fargo. I'll come back. That's a nice shot there. Golf Bay, yes, this was an open tournament and anyone can enter. Anyone was allowed the state championship. This is a this is an open event. Uh, no, Toby. This is actually still the winner side. So the winner of this match um, is in fifth, sixth position. We're bringing back the top eight, so they actually get to leave and come back tomorrow. Loser has to battle their way through two more rounds to get to come back tomorrow for the top eight. Still a lot of pool to be played tonight, too. Sean looks like he went cold here for a minute. He's been, like, blazing for, like, the last 12 games. Oh, yeah, Toby, yeah, they're definitely not leaving. 
There's going to be action here all night. We got Guam is in the house. Uh, a lot of the Dominican players from New York are down here with uh, with some uh, oh, loads of cash. They're going to be here all night. Uh, Timmy G. Rodney did not come play in this. Uh, I don't know what happened with that particular tournament. I do know some players that were on that list called me at the last minute and asked if they can come here. And I, we made the exception, allowed them to come in with the players saying okay. That's why some players are wearing shorts, even though we have a dress code. Because they were not essentially prepared for this tournament. That's a nice inside kill there by uh, Hunter. I'll make the score five to three. All right, Hunter making it five three in a race to six. I'm sorry, race to seven. Guys, check out Q Pocket, the official Q holder of PA Pro Am in the 2023 Pennsylvania State Championships. This is actually the holder they made for us, which is the top one there is the Musketeer. It's a three holder. The bottom one is a recharge. It actually charges your cell phone while you play. In these situations here, they also have Q protector. I'm sorry, joint holders and. Pretty much you name it, they can take care of it. Check them out, guys, on Facebook. Q Pocket. Outside, look at my pea suit. <laughs> A little like pea soup out there, I'd say. It's uh, a 3-5 looks like a fairly good combination Made it even better. This looks like a jump. If he's got that shot, I don't know how this guy plays, but for the six sixty six Fargo, I think he's That's a tough one. This is this this angle's a little sharp, and I don't know whether Sean can draw that ball across the face of that one or not. The whole angle on the three five. I got the two ball. Excuse me, but the, he still has to get get past the three ball. He's gonna have to draw his ball strong. That isn't so bad. He uh he gets to play the, the one rail shape coming down the table for the three five combo if the if it's fire. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a strong shot. That's what he needed. He'll probably put a ton of low left on this ball. I can't see what, what precisely that 3-5 is, if whether it has to be thrown or whether it's fired. Can't tell from my vantage point. It's looking like uh, it is. Sean, they were checking to see if the ball's frozen. Always do that if you're not sure. Because if you don't do it and the referee doesn't prove it frozen in competition, the incoming player can get away with murder on a shot like this. He's going to try to play with the ability. Good shot. But. I don't know what he's got here. Real thin cuts. It's got him coming back to the top rail behind the nine of seven. Nine six round. From the rail, this shot plays a little harder. And he's going to have a wild angle. But if he makes this ball, he'll well have a look at the five. This guy likes to kick, apparently, and not jump. And that wall. Sean looks like he left a little window. That's a good shot. Two railer. Maybe one. I like the two railer to come behind it from the bottom rail. He might have a look at it direct. It's hard for me to see. Thank you. 
All of a sudden, this, this, this match can get real interesting. That's just good enough. Three rails with high left, probably. Hunter Smartly gets back in the ball game. It's five to four. All you folks listening here, we're going to probably play another two, possibly three more rounds tonight, and we'll be back with uh, the final 12 players for tomorrow's action. But that's just a guess. That's not an official. One hanging over straight end ball, two ball hanging over the hole. Three ball looks like it plays in the side pocket. That's ideal looking in there. Other than other than being jacked over the nines. Kind of quick stroke that ball a little bit, I think.
I'd send the seven up towards the eight. Six Frank is having a little dinner. He's been going nonstop today. That's a hippity hop to the barber shops looking shot there. Double kiss is more likely than not. Double kiss is possible. All right, Mr. George, I'm back. Had a fantastic dinner. Jump shot. Oh, that was the soup. It was very good. Homemade soup syrup bluegrass. Who's terrific? Oh wow, Hunter's coming back. Five to four. What we got going on here in the chat? Uh, Joe Bassetti. <laughs> Whatever you want to, sir. All right, Hunter. Our next matchup here is going to be Lucas Verner, 739 Fargo versus Mac Prod, 697 Fargo, 696 Fargo. Let's see. The five balls out a little too far for Sean to do any monkey business behind seven and eight. I got him banking it along this, this this long rail. He might even try to take a blast at the nine. Who knows? Making this ball, there's no no no, no, no real. Thing. That I can see. Mm. We got the baseball playoffs going on. Yeah, the Phillies are playing, so we got some a uh, couple happy fans here jumping around. Phillies are leading two nothing going into the eight. Into the eighth here. Moving on. Oh, 
Oh, that's the good news. I don't know what kind of shot he's going to come with here. This is, this is really demanding. We think George three rails come around, play the seven in the same pocket. He, it, it, I don't he can know draw two rails seven out. Seven ball, uh, even coming from the, the the rail that the eight ball is frozen on. Yes. To, uh, to do any business with his his best bet would be to uh, possibly uh, just cinch the ball and, and, and lay the lay the seven up or bank it around the table. He's going to try to go around the table. He's going to he's going to save opportunity. Yeah. And and and, and uh, he's actually got to hit the eight here and just play off the eight. The, the double kiss on the table. It's, that's that's reasonable. Man, he's laid up one. I like the two railer here. Unless he can, unless he gets can fade the eight ball. He can fade the eight ball. He can hit this ball. Right? Oh. I think that leaves. That's that's gonna, yeah, it's going to leave Wilkie a shot, but he didn't give him ball in hand. He still has to come up with something here. This is a meniscus shot. This is a shot where the triangular portion of that of seven ball is on the rail. That's not so good. No, that's not a great shot there. I can either be. I think Sean. Can, I think Sean was going defense there. I don't know. If, it didn't look like he was going offense. Maybe a touch of left. Top the left. Top the left here. I like the two it rails. Must, it must. That went. He yeah. used right angle. Yeah, yeah right back around. Right around. Good shot. Yes, sir. Jimmy, hold on. Let me, uh, make sure he got the text message. I'll go grab him right now. Hold on. Five games apiece. <laughs> Five games apiece, and and Hunter is on the break. Uh, possibly get to the hill first. What a turn of events this has been. Yeah, 666, six, six, another guess. That's a sporty shot. The five nine is wired. I can see it. he just walked over and looked at it. So if he can go from the play three and get a shape on the four. He'd be better off to not touch that template. He's on the 50 yard line. He can go either direction. It's dangerous. Is that. 
This isn't an e easiest of shots. And it's a fast angle too. Plus he's stretching. Few balls down there just far enough for him to have to reach for a little bit. He's right on it. Called it. He's got to call the nine. He just pointed there, so he's just going to draw his key ball with a little right, cut it into the nine, and draw his ball. There it is. Hunter is on the hill. Sean is going to have to do something on his break and then dodge a ball. Trying to see if took a count. Count him on the nine ball. I like it a little real first. Because he might he might end up a little bit too full in the knot. He might be just shooting out. You no. Know? Oh, if you can shoot out, you gotta shoot out. Oh, this is what he's doing. Two, three, five, six, seven, nine. It's showtime, six apiece. I hear there's a Hill Hill matchup around here. All right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for keep jumping in and out. I have to do the tournament director stuff, so I have to keep jumping back and forth. 93 people. Nice. Let's get to 100, guys. Let's share this out. Saturday night, 93. Put it on in your bar. You got two televisions in your house? Put it on the other television.
How about now, George? Is that better? Yeah. All right, hell, hell. That's great, Brian. Hunter smut me for the break here. Breaking for the win. Lead ball. Lower right, upper right corner cock. Oh, yeah. Oh. Gets pinched in the side. And it gets a, it gets a strange. Yeah, he doesn't have I like him. I like him going the other way, uh, uh, to to the top, to the bottom rail behind the nine, and uh, left left hand ball, and uh, uh, he he didn't hide it. He left, didn't leave a lot of distance either. We got another hill hill on the B side. Billy Gallagher Jr. versus Abdel. 5-5. Five, five. Nice return there by Sean Wilkie. He might, he might, he might have him side hooked there too. He may not be able to do what he, what he just looks like and think he's on, on the lake. He might not have the bottom rail. The top rail action. Yeah. So Hunter's going to be kicking. Oh, he's got good. Nice clear hit on it, man. Sean has a layout now. Sean does it. Sean does have some balls to shoot out here. The trouble is the seven ball. He might, he might have to press going around the two. Yeah, I would definitely say bottom. Definitely has to go bottom rail, trying to catch that side rail. I'm right in between the two and the five. He actually might just just punch it straight across. Yeah. And uh, and play the two in the top corner and bottom corner where he's standing. Because that seven ball is a uh, pretty big looking obstacle in my book. But I, it's not my shot. I don't quite see what Sean sees. But uh, the beauty of it is, is he, he's going around it. Yeah, that was a great shot. Yeah, that was a good shot. That wasn't the highest percentage shot either. Two to the four might be tough here. Though. He's going to have to get... Pinching the ball back with the, with the low right draw and, and clipping the seven. And stay in there. If you're going to try to lag that ball there, you might come up short. And to draw it straight across. I don't know if he's, if he's got the right speed on the angle. But let's see what he does. It's his shot. The lag this ball is dangerous. Short. Absolute and the, and, and, and the, the four might be frozen. It's hard to see from our vantage point. Doesn't look frozen here from the overhead. Looks like they have a little bit of room. Okay. I'd say he's checking the air pockets over that seven ball. I 
not to dead. I don't even know if he has a jump cue. Well, while we're waiting for on the decider shot. Our tournament's powered by digital pool. Up in the hidden section there will be the digital pool bracket. We want to thank digital pool for doing so much for the pool community. Oh, we got a hundred again. No. Something coming backwards one row. The only other shot I like is two rails out of this this near right hand corner pocket. Because he's got a wide open space in that lane. Yeah. This is this is this is wrong with peril. He just walked on the path that he needed to go on with the two railer. Yeah. He's got the two railer up top inside the eight ball. While we're waiting on the other one, us. While we're waiting on Sean to decide, I'd like to thank our tour sponsor, Integrity Cues, integritycues.com, for all your cue and accessory needs. Also, like to thank our wonderful venue here, Bluegrass Billiards, 9490 Bluegrass Road, 50 plus pool tables, full service bar. Dude. Rails, nice hit. That's gonna leave it. That's gonna leave it a little tougher, Hunter. It's up in. We got a final here at the Billy Gallagher Abdel match. Billy Gallagher wins six to five. Puts him on to the next round. I got him going up table. Down down table. Cue ball past the seven, uh, cue ball bottom rail. Uh, can hide behind that nine ball. I didn't quite get there. We still got the, still got the leave out of it that he wanted. That was that was that was to me uh, the highest percentage shot with uh, with the, with the greatest margin for error. But Sean's got a kicking stick here. James Rockwell, what's wrong with the audio? I can fix it. I can fix it on the fly. Left hand ball. Come in with the first diamond and kicking stick. I bend it. And he's, is he going to luck out? He left, left, he left, the, left the, the ball, but I don't think he can make it. That was a good escape. This is one of those matches where you're we're gambling. We we look at each other and say extension. <laughs> Play another uh, length in the race, two more games. Which one of us is in a barrel? James, myself, the one speaking, or the or George, the other one, doing the commentary about what shot should be shot at. We we couldn't hear ourselves think uh, from the from the noise. Everybody's sweating their beloved Phillies, and I don't blame them. This is where we're sitting, and. And seeing it, area two one five, or area two six seven, if you will. So there's about four hundred people in the bar. Or sorry, four hundred people here in the pool hall, including the music, the sound. So I have a noise gate set up. But most likely, what's happening is the noise gate's filtering out all the sound, which is making me sound a little hollow. Yeah. What what you were talking about on yesterday when we was when we were in here yesterday? It sounds like that's going to be a real real good thing. 
if that works out. Yeah, moving moving over to the other to the booth would be good. Sean's actually looking at nine ball. He's gonna he's gonna come off the rail, and 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 his tangent line is going right at the nine. He might call it. Definitely got a good hit on it. There's an opportunity for Hunter to get out here. This this looks like it's about time. Uh, this is the money ball. It's a great match. Oh no, not at all, James. I'm actually any kind of feedback that helps uh, helps me set the uh, the audio properly, and then you know I want to make sure that the streams are are going very well. So yeah, if there's anything that anybody listening thinks that should be fixed, I can always fix it on the fly. All right, so Hunter's got four balls left here. He's got to get himself out, he gets himself to day two if he gets out from here. Oh. Commentator curse. All right, so Wilkie has three balls left. Gets him to day two. Yeah, Hunter had the out. Kind of a dealer's choice here. He can just draw it straight back. He can go onto the rail and play it inside. Punch it forward just like that. Let's go! I think the Phillies did something good here. Both of these guys play really good. I mean, they, uh, all day everybody's been playing really good here, especially guys on the stream. Looks like Sean Wilkie's going to get himself to day two, making this nine ball. Bring him back tomorrow at 11 a.m. That's going to be a fantastic match. It's going to be Sean Wilkie tomorrow. I believe it's uh, yeah, Sean Wilkie's going to be coming back here tomorrow again. Sean Mark Alley in 761 Fargo. Versus 744 Fargo, guys. Do not miss that tomorrow morning. That's going to be at 11 o'clock. We're going to be playing that round. Uh, our next match up here, we're going to get started in a minute. It's going to be Lucas Werner, 739 Fargo. Versus Matt Cry, 696 Fargo. Don't go anywhere. 